Hello everyone. Very good morning from Lahore. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Khokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we are, we have started the topic of genotoxicology and this is the second lecture on this topic. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that I will be discussing in this lecture the cause and effect relationship. That every effect depends upon a cause. And this is particularly important in the case of poisoning that unless, unless we establish the cause, that means the amount or the qualitative estimation of the poison in the body, then the effect will be established. So the role of intent is also important. In, when we talk about the forensic toxicology, Intent is important. The intent is to treat the patient and misadventure occurs, then the intent is not to kill the patient. But if the dose is such and intent is to kill the patient, then the forensic toxicology will play its role. Then what is a toxic substance? We will discuss. And what is the difference between drug and a poison? Because the anything can be a drug and anything can become a poison. And the dose and the intent is the main difference. So what is a toxic substance and what do we mean by acute exposure? Acute exposure in reference to poisoning. Then what are the toxicity values of particular uh, substances? And we plot a toxicity rating scales. What is ED50? What is LD50? ED50 is effective dose 50 and LD50 is lethal dose 50. And this we will be discussing in this lecture. Then the therapeutic index of each component or the substance that is important in reference to poisoning. So starting with the lecture, the cause and effect relationship. To confirm the poisoning, and to establish the cause and effect relationship of a certain specific and highly sensitive tests have to be performed to isolate, identify, and quantitate the toxic compound in the biological fluids and the tissue. That means the particular or specific tests are performed which will isolate that substance. That means this substance is not the normal constituent of the human body. And we have isolated it. Then we have identified it that what is in it, what type of drug or poison it is. And then quantitate that how in how much amount it is present. Then only then it is possible to label poisoning because the poison or drug which is not the normal constituent and has been identified in a toxic compound, then the poisoning will be established. Now the role of intent is important. For example, if a drug is instituted and the intention is to treat the patient, but a misadventure occurs, anaphylactic reaction in person or the patient dies, the intent was not to kill the patient. Intent was to treat, but the misadventure led to the happening that the person died. So the role of intent is important. With the intention, a toxic dose is in, instituted to kill the patient. So the role of intent is important in forensic toxicology. So when we say a substance, a toxic substance, a poisonous or toxic compound is any chemical that is capable of producing detrimental effect on the living organisms. Or a poison is a commonly defined as a substance which when administered, inhaled or swallowed is capable of acting deleteriously on the human body. And the Toxic substance produces alteration in either the structural components or the functional process. So the deleterious effects of a poison on a body, either they perform or do the 
structural damage or they interfere with the function of the uh, system or function of the organ. So these are two deleterious uh, effects. Either they uh, destroy the structure or they interfere with the functional process of the human body. And this will result in either injury or in extreme cases, the death of the individual. Thus, almost everything may be a poison at a given dose and depending upon the route of administration. And there is no boundary between a medicine and a poison because a medicine in toxic dose will become a poison and a poison in therapeutic dose will be acting as a medicine. So there is not a distinct boundary to which one to label as poison or to which label as drug. The dose is important and intention and route of administration will determine the outcome. For example, we know the oxygen, the salt, the water, they are the normal constituents and we daily use them. But even then, they, these elements in toxic amount, they become uh, dangerous for the body. So the real difference between the medicine and a poison is that the dose and the intent with which it is given. Now, what is a drug? A drug is a substance which is used to prevent or cure a disease or ailment or to alleviate the symptoms of the disease. And the poison is any substance then can cause severe organ damage or death if ingested, breathed in, that is inhaled, injected, into the body or absorbed through the skin. Now, what is the difference between poison and a medicine? The difference is the intent and the dose. The toxic and non-toxic compound. We cannot segregate similarly, as I've explained, we cannot segregate the drug and the poison. Similarly, we cannot segregate Toxic and no, non-toxic compound because many toxic compounds even can be given in subtoxic dose without any harmful effect or symptoms. Whereas non-toxic compounds in heavy doses can produce the toxic symptoms. Now, what is acute exposure? By the term acute exposure, we mean that this is a misconception. For example, for many people consider poisoning to start immediately at the moment of exposure. But this is only true in cases where the symptom starts immediately upon the institution, but not in every case. So acute exposure, acute exposure is a single toxic dose, single time or multiple subtoxic doses within 24 hours or within short period of time. If multiple small doses are instituted over a short period of time or specified time till it affects toxically, then this also will become an acute exposure. So acute exposure on the one end is single toxic dose or multiple toxic dose in a short interval or within 24 hours. When a chemical is considered to be toxic and how much of a substance have to be ingested to cause the symptom, so these two factors are important. And upon these, we have to determine the toxicity value of each drug or each compound. These are the values of chemicals which produce their toxic effects in a biological system whenever they reach a critical concentration in the target tissue. That is, the level in the blood and the tissue fluid is reached at a critical level when they start producing toxic effects. 
and these values that these levels in the tissue fluids and the blood is the toxic level. And they are the toxic values. And upon these findings, we determine the toxicity rating scale. The toxicity rating scale, it is basically a scale or chart which provides a qualitative figure describing the severity of expected, expected toxicity of a compound. That means it gives the value, the amount, the concentration, which will produce the toxic effect of, of the compound. Now, what is ED50? That is effective dose 50. It means the dose that represents the concentration of chemicals required to produce the therapeutic response in 50% of the experimental animals who are exposed to it. That means 50% of animals will be showing therapeutic response. Whereas the LD50, that is the lethal dose 50 means, the dose that represents a concentration of the chemical required to produce death of 50% of the experimental animals which are exposed to it. So that level will cause death of the 50% experimental animals and called as LD50. That means lethal dose, the dose or the amount which causes death of the 50% of the animals. Now the therapeutic index. Therapeutic index with the help of LD50 and ED50, we determine therapeutic index. And therapeutic index is basically it's a ratio, ratio of LD50 to ED50. It gives you the margin of safety of a particular chemical or a drug. Therapeutic index is equal to LD50 over ED50. And this index is important. This gives you information about the margin of safety, the therapeutic dose and the lethal dose. And in between is the margin of safety. So if the left LD50 curve shifts towards the left, the therapeutic index will be smaller. It means that the compound has reduced the margin of safety. For example, a therapeutic dose is 50 milligram and the lethal dose is 80 milligram. So between 50 to 80, that is the margin of safety. And if the curve is shifted towards left, that is from 80, it comes to 70 or 60. That means from 50, which is therapeutic level, we are reducing the margin of safety. Similarly, the shift of LD50 curve towards right, then the therapeutic index will be larger. That if the therapeutic dose is 50 and the lethal dose is 120, then from 50 to 120 is the margin of safety. That means from 80, which was previously the lethal dose, we have moved to 120. We have increased the margin of safety. So the shift of LD50 curve towards right will be showing that the therapeutic index is larger and it has greater margin of safety because that of that particular drug and is less toxic. This is a diagram which is showing the effects, the concentration, the toxicity, and the dose. The dose in milligram is uh, x-axis and the y-axis is showing the effects. For example, this drug on 40 is showing 100% effect. And this is at 80 mil milligram is showing the toxic effect. So this is how the toxicity rating scale is determined. And this is the graph of the therapeutic index, LD50 to ED50. You can see that this uh, particular drug is showing effective dose 50 at 60 milligram. And 100 milligram is the lethal dose 50. And if from 100 we shift towards the left, that is towards 80 milligram, 
that means we are reducing the margin of safety. And if we move towards right, that towards 120, then we are increasing the margin of safety. So this is how we determine the toxicity that shifting of LD50 towards left, that is reducing the margin of safety and shifting of LDF, LDL50 towards right is increasing the margin of safety. So that is the therapeutic index. So summary of this lecture is that we have learned the cause and effect relationship. That is, first we isolate and identify the poison and then the effect and that poison should be at toxic level. That is how we establish the cause and effect relationship. Only then we can label that this uh, compound, which is not the normal constituent of body, is present within the body in toxic level and uh, produce this toxic effects. Then the role of intent is important. We have discussed and what is a toxic substance and what is the difference between drug and poison and the difference is mainly the dose and the intent. And what is a toxic substance? What do we mean by acute exposure? How we determine the toxicity values and toxicity rating scales? And what is LD50, ED50 we have learned in this lecture and the role of therapeutic index. So thank you very much. This is all about the uh, second lecture of toxicology and we'll move in the, in the next lecture, inshallah. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And my channel name is Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar. Thank you very much.